All right, welcome back to uh, King's Quest Six. Air today, gone tomorrow. Uh, my name is Karen, and when we last left off, I made some skeletons dance. Oh, that's right. I'm, I think I'm supposed to look at this guy. Let's look at you. What'd you do, buddy? Oh. Apparently, Alexander's not the only one who's curious about the body on the path. Uh, that scared me. Okay. So if you remember the druids, they told you that a knight came down and tried to, um, uh, get his lover back. And I believe this is him. The knight is wearing an old, tattered ribbon. It must have once meant much to him as a sign of his lady's favor. Hmm. Alright, so let's take this gauntlet. Alexander takes the knight's black gauntlet and examines the writing on it. Flesh may cross the portal and seek its master, death. Flesh may go where death is trod and challenge, like Shahrazad, he who reigns beneath the sod to spare a mortal's breath. Zounds! That <laughs> sounds serious. Zounds. I really, I really like this narrator. I'll be honest. Um, the reason I didn't play it through for the most part with the with the voices is a, it gets real talky. There's a lot of speaking and if I let them act it out I can read it much faster than they're acting it so it was partly as a time saver and also partly because when I played it first as a kid I guess we just didn't have a good sound card or our sitting settings were wrong or something but we never played it with the voices we always played it with the text and so I'm just more familiar with it I have played it with the voices um, and there are certain parts where I think it adds a lot to the game but uh in a lot of places, it's not necessary. But I do like the narration. I like that he says sounds. I'm super into that. The ribbon is so old, it would crumble at Alexander's touch. Okay. Well, let's go away. Okay. Let's keep going. Mm. Okay, let's just see if he'll walk the whole thing. Yes. Woo! Okay, so this is important, because I need River Styx water. Let's get that. Alexander doesn't want to experiment with the organic surfaces of the underworld. There we go. Alexander scoops a little of the River Styx into the teacup with the Perfect. swamp ooze, being careful not to get any of the black water on his skin. Okay, cool. Yep, that's exactly what I need. Cool. So now we have to give the coins to uh, what's his balls so that he'll let us onto the boat. Will these coins do as fair for passage? Charon accepts the fare Charon, and that's waves his name. Alexander onto the boat. Ooh, I like this part, but let me save it just to be safe. This is a pretty dangerous part of the of the game, so may as well. There's the door right there. Oh, oops. Can I fix that? There's a door. There's a door right there. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go. <coughs> Oh, that's cool. Ah! Alexander walks too close to the menacing gate. <gasps> oh, it's a good thing I fucking saved it. I didn't realize I'd die. Next. Uh. It must have been love at first bite. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Also, you see his key's gone now. <laughs> okay. Okay, I didn't realize that he would, like, actually eat me. Sorry, dude, can I talk to the door? The wooden gate does not look particularly conversational at the moment. What do I do with this door? I'm confused. Okay, 
I'll just walk sorta of close to it then. But not all the way. Can I just look at it? The large wooden gate at the end of the path is closed. Alexander doesn't see a keyhole in that gate. Okay. Alright, what am I missing? The wooden gate does not look... Oh, uh, what the fuck, man? <laughs> I don't- I don't actually know what's happening here. I mean, I know I have to use this something Something about else. that gate gives Alexander the feeling that he wouldn't want to see its reflection in Beast's mirror. Okay. Alexander sees no reason to use that on the gate. Ugh. Okay, what am I- I've gone mad, clearly. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Alexander sees no reason to use that. Okay. Before attacking that gate, perhaps Alexander should determine whether or not uh... it will open. I'm gonna pause it because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. All right, cool. All right, welcome back. So I'm clearly very dumb. What I did wrong was instead of clicking on the gate with my hand, I, I walked too close to it and it decided to eat me instead. Alexander reaches out to open the gate. God. Suddenly, the wood trembles beneath his fingertips. Eh. What? Touch has awakened my sleep. I smell the blood of a mortal. Reach out thine hand again, fleshy human, that I might devour it. It has been centuries since I last ate. So, uh, that's, um, <clears throat> the voice is again the Kali um, from the beginning of the game. And he's got a super cool voice. He he's also in some other games that I super duper love. I think I'm just supposed to talk to you, right? Despite his fear, Alexander summons his bravest voice to command the living gate. I would pass, Gate. I have business with your master. My master and thine, human. I would be pleased to introduce thee. Only step forward and thou shalt meet him shortly. No, thank you. I come to meet the Lord of the Dead with my flesh still intact. And why should I let you pass, human, when I would much rather eat you? I have been told that there is a way for humans to enter Death's realm. There must be something I can do. Some task that will allow me to pass through your doors, Gate. Hmm... I seem to recall something. A trick. Uh, perhaps, um, A test. Mm, ah, yes. Should a human try to pass, a riddle is Gates won't to ask. <clears throat> a riddle it is, then. And if thou wouldst fail to answer Gate, his thirsty jaws will be thy fate. Agreed. Listen as though it meant thy life then, human, for it surely does. My first is foremost legally, my second circles outwardly, my third leads all in victory, my fourth twice ends a nominee, 
My hole is this gate's only key. My first is foremost legally. My second circles outwardly. My third leads all in victory. My fourth twice ends a nominee. My hole is this gate's only key. So the riddle um, from that riddle book where you find the page in the in the Black Widow's web, that's a clue because that's the same riddle. Uh, you don't... I'm assuming it is at least. So the answer uh, based on that we know is love, but you can also just kind of puzzle it out. Foremost legally, L, second circles outwardly, O, my third leads all in victory, V, and my fourth twice ends a nominee, E. So pretty straightforward. Love. Live. Live. The answer is love. Ah, thou traitor of the mortal plane, how didst thou guess love? That riddle should never have been solved. Love is unknown in this realm. Love cannot be banished, even from this place. There are spirits still pining of it on the surface above. Still less can it be banished from my heart. Enough! Burden me not with thy poetry. Pass through, and quickly, before I change my mind. Sweet! We've done it! Yeah! Okay, so this is super cool and creepy, and it's gonna happen next time. Thanks for watching. As always, it's much appreciated.